people are going to say the target's on our back, but I hope it's right in our forehead and between our eyes. I hope I can see the red dot. Can the Celtics be the first team in six years to repeat? There hasn't been a repeat champion in the NBA since the Golden State Warriors went back to back in 2017 and 2018. It's tough to repeat now as the NBA has seen a lot of parity with six different champions crowned in six years for the first time in 44 years. Whether it's injuries, roster aggression, turnover, or the rest of the league catching up, going back to back is an incredibly difficult thing to do. However, when you look at the Celtics, they lost Kristaps Porzingis to injuries. He was limited to just seven playoff games, but the Celtics were still able to overcome that. When it comes to roster turnover, that certainly won't be the downfall of the Celtics team. After Jason Tatum got a super max extension, Derek White got a four-year $125.9 million extension, and Sam Hauser got a four-year $45 million extension of his own. The Celtics also already signed Drew Holiday to a four-year extension prior to the start of the playoffs. And last summer, Jalen Brown signed what was at the time the richest contract in league history. The Celtics are set as far as their roster goes. The Celtics are running the back, set to return 15 players who logged 93% of their regular season minutes from last season, the highest rate for a defending champ in the last 10 years. In terms of other teams making big moves, the Knicks had a big offseason and the 76ers made the big splash of bringing in Paul George. But despite that, the Celtics are still the team to beat. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Boston Celtics and their chances of repeating for the 2024-2025 season. If y'all can do me a solid favor, please hit a like on the video. It helps it a ton. And subscribe to the channel for more Celtics and NBA content just like this. And shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. The Celtics absolutely ran through the NBA last season. Their 11.6 net rating was tied for the third best all time with the 2016-17 Golden State Warriors. The only other teams to dominate an NBA season like the Celtics did were Michael Jordan's Chicago Bulls in 1995-96 and 1996-97. The Celtics just won a championship in dominant fashion. They went 16-3 in the playoffs after a 64-18 regular season. But now all the attention is set for this upcoming season as the Celtics attempt to go back to back. Brad Stevens brought back almost every player from last year's roster and all the top guys in the rotation are under contract for multiple seasons. The Celtics have set themselves up for sustained success and the Celtics will be keeping the same core for the first time in eight years and they will arguably be even better next season. This is what the Celtics will look to build off of going into this season. Over 101 games, regular season plus playoffs, the Celtics outscored their opponents by an average of 10.7 points per game, the fifth best mark for any team in NBA history. The Celtics are the first team in 47 years since the league started counting turnovers to have ranked in the top two on both ends of the floor in two straight seasons. The Mavs scored just 106.7 points per 100 possessions in the NBA Finals, making it their worst five-game stretch of offense all season if you take away their last two regular season games in which they sat out both Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. The Celtics, they still will have some question marks about their front line, Al Horford, who averaged 30 minutes in the playoffs. He's now 38 years old, and Kristaps Porzingis is likely to miss a significant stretch at the start of next season. But despite that, the Celtics still look like the best team in the NBA by a wide margin. Now, guys, before I continue on with this video, I do want to talk about today's video sponsor, BetUS. And when you look at the NBA championship futures, you can see the Boston Celtics are right there at the top. They are the current favorite when it comes to winning the 2025 NBA championship. They're plus 300. The Celtics, they are expected to get out of the East once again, and they are expected to win it all again. So if you think the Celtics can repeat, you can put some money on this. Bet US, guys, awesome sports book, proud sponsor of this channel. And when you look at Bet US, they are currently offering a 150% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,000 with the code YouTube 150. They got the fastest payouts in the industry. Go check out BetUS if you haven't already. Proud sponsor of this video. All right, so let's talk about the Celtics' biggest challengers for this season. In the East, I gotta say the New York Knicks, they look poised to be the biggest threat to the Celtics. They have versatile, all defense level players to contend with Tatum and Brown, obviously. You know, they made that big trade for Bridges. They have Ananobi. They got all-star Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, a supporting cast that can defend and shoot. Then you got the Philadelphia 76ers. They just added all-NBA and all-star Paul George. 
he's going to be mixed in with a successful duo of Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey. So if that trio works, the 76ers are also going to be right there competing with the Celtics. You can't forget about the Milwaukee Bucks. If that team is healthy, they're still going to be a challenge to Boston. But when you look at the Celtics, they still have the best roster. They have the best coaching and they have the results. They just got it done. So you got to give them the edge when comparing them to other Eastern conference contenders then if the celtics are able to get out of the east they're likely gonna have the thunder nuggets t wolves or mavs waiting for them in the nba finals and all of those teams reloaded this summer despite the obstacles that stand in the celtics way the boston celtics they do look poised to win it all again i mean they had such a dominant performance last season they're bringing those guys back they know what it takes now to get it done they've officially gotten over the hump to win a championship they're going to have momentum. They're going to have confidence. But as we've seen in the past, repeating is just so difficult. No matter how successful you were last season, how talented your roster is, it is going to be an uphill battle for this Celtics team because everybody's going to be coming for them. It's basically the Celtics versus the field. But when I look at the Celtics team, guys, I do think they will have the best chance to repeat in the NBA since the Warriors last did it. And the Celtics franchise hasn't gone back to back since 1968-69. So they're going to be looking to break their own personal drought when it comes to winning back-to-back titles. Tatum and White, they got paid. So money's not going to be an issue. The championship core, it's there. Celtics, they got a strong starting five. Great depth. This team, it remains imposing. And of course, you can never forget about Psycho Joe. Joe Mazzulla, one of the best coaches in the NBA. He silenced a lot of his critics, getting it done with this group. He did a phenomenal job, especially in the postseason. The Boston Celtics, make no mistake about it, guys. This is still the best team, and this is still the team you got to beat. And until somebody can prove it, the Boston Celtics, they are the clear-cut favorites going into this season once again. If this team is healthy, the 2025 NBA championship will likely go through Boston again one way or another. So when you look at Boston, they got through the regular season pretty easily. Then you look at the postseason, they ran through the postseason field, and then they put away a Dallas Mavericks team relatively easily after Dallas had an impressive showing in the Western Conference side of the bracket. So there's always going to be an element of luck that's needed when it comes to repeating, but the Boston Celtics, they are definitely going to have a good shot of doing so, especially if they avoid a major injury and this team is generally healthy for the entirety of the season. Are you taking the Celtics or the field for this season, guys? Let me know your thoughts. Do you think the Boston Celtics can repeat? Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and once again, shout out to BetUS for sponsoring today's video. That is it for me. It's Luke signing off. Thanks so much for watching. I will catch you all again in the next one.